Welcome back to Desolate with Zombie Lover and Rick. This is Zombie Lover. He's got a new hat. I've got a new Hello. hat. Um, my hat is... I, I can't tell. You'll have to look at it from his perspective. But uh, he says it looks weird, and I trust that it does, in fact, look very weird. Well, I could go with the uh, this hat. Looks like I've got ear muffs he, attached to it as well. You look like a Canuck. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, I think. Uh, well, they're my next door neighbors. Well, I mean, I'm about as far away in the United States from uh, Canada as you can get, other than the <laughs> panhandle yes. of Texas or the, the yeah. you know, southern part of Texas but or, or Florida. But um, whatever. I mean, you know, they are Canadians. But look, we're going to go over to the engineer and make some stuff. We've got new recipes, and we spent a little time after the stream yesterday going ahead yeah. and getting together all of the pieces we need. I'm going to make some weapons. You're going to make some armor, right? That sounds about right. So, we'll anything see where else? We end up. Yeah, any other prep that you need to do before we take off? I'm good with food and water. You good with that? No, I'm good. We can go. We can head off. Alrighty. And hey, it's gonna be light soon. Nice. About five minutes. So that won't be so bad. That'll be a rare change for us. I know. There we go. Right. Unlimited sprint mode activated. I love Can we that. Put my perk. Beacon? Can we put my beacon so you know where you're going? Thank you. Because I was almost lost just leaving the oasis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you do without me? Uh, run around blindly. Die quite a bit, I would imagine. What's in the box? Probably. Oh, booze. Uh, I'll let you get the box for once. Yeah, tomatoes. Who cares? Oh. You could almost stop collecting stuff at the moment. Where? Oh, there you are. <laughs> always leaving you behind yeah and it's always I stop to loot something stupid and you just keep going the next thing I know I'm like oh no where do I go <laughs> and crack it down oh we I did need that. that I didn't think we needed we any need more it. of those but uh, from yeah. what you said, you talked with the biologist yesterday. I didn't. Yeah. Um, so, like, does he just continually recycle the quests for plants and animals? So, yes. like, we we can do them, but there's just an endless number of them that keep yeah. popping up. All right. And the only reason to stop is once you're level five with him. I think we're level three and a half. Ah. Two and a half, three and a half, something like that. Now, granted, we think... are max level. We don't get any more EXP for anything we do. But no. we can potentially get other types of rewards out of doing various quests, we get, getting faction, we can all get that stuff. a few more skill points. Oh, really? In that when you complete quests for the Quartermaster, he can give a few... Um, That's interesting. Points. So, yeah, all right. So you can well, get a few more. Yeah, there's other means of advancement other than simply finding recipes or getting faction. Yeah. All right, cool. cool. Uh, but there isn't much. We're practically finished on ah. the on that front. You spawned Watch out for that. on me. Uh-oh. Yes, I did. Sapsy. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm taking damage for once. Right, I got the sapsy. Oh, Loot. oh I got another go. one. Oh, he's going to heal. He's going to heal. I mean, he got smacked up from behind and from the front, so it's never going to be a good combination. Oh, are you loving oh, looting cars now? That is a sweet uh, part. I always. I've always loved it, I just haven't had it in this playthrough. Yeah, I know, annoyingly. but that's what I'm saying. It is a sweet perk, especially if you can get it fairly early on. 
and the weight reduction stuff or the uh, oh, carry yeah. capacity increase. The two kind of have to yep. go hand in hand, frankly. They work well together. And now that's a thing you never, unfortunately, got offered, right? Is to get all of the no. pack mule type stuff. I'm thinking of buying the nullifier so I can reset all my skill points so I can try and get it again. Ooh. But that would cost me a lot of money, and then I'd just have to spend like five, ten minutes sorting all that out. Well, I mean, you can do that all offline. So, and if you need m scrap, I could. Uh, like I've got. Uh, um, I can might. just start giving you stuff to sell or whatever to scrap. Yeah. So the, the there is that as well. Of, you know, partnership. Because frankly, exactly. I've got so much scrap right now. I haven't really been spending it on anything other than repairs. <laughs> no, that's the benefit. You can actually save money in co-op because only one of you needs the recipe. Right. And I've bought some stuff, so we haven't needed. You haven't needed to buy them. The the balls more. Yeah, for and example, I the recipe for that. <laughs> Frankly, uh, I I've forgotten. Like when I go to sell, I don't even check his buy option stuff. So <laughs> no, it's fine. All right. So what am I making? It's the armor, wasn't it? Yeah, the thug armor for both of us because that's got the best stats for damage resistance, right? Yes. At the moment, yeah, I think now, that's better. I'm going to show my viewers a little bit on, uh, like, if we go to our crafting menu and look at the armors. We've got all these different outfits. The Renegade suit we're currently wearing, and then we've got the um, M1 Falcon suit, the uh, Owl yeah. M2 outfit, and they're very good, but... They're primarily like temperature resist and anomaly resist, you know, stuff. And whereas the thug armor has a 30% physical and then 35% resist for psi anomaly and temperature. And um, it's the all around a very, very good armor, you know. It's so. one of the better ones. Well, so far, I think that might be the, the best one there is. I think it's the best one we have access to right now. I mean, based yeah. on the stats, you know, the 30%, 35%. All uh, right. There you go. There's yours. And you should get an achievement, just like I did, to have all epic level equipment now. All right. Let me go ahead and equip it. Nice, and I did get the ideal equipment achievement. That's fantastic. Okay, so now my turn on the workbench, and I'm going to be making us two weapons. But before I can do that, I need to craft two batteries. So we're going to yes. create those guys. Four batteries. What? Four batteries. I only brought the stuff for two batteries. <sighs> what? It's fine. We went over this yesterday. Why? How? What? No. No, I only needed one battery per Tesla coil. That's uh, what I'm making. No. Yeah, you're making that. No, that's fine. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Just confusing you. Cause, <laughs> yeah, you did. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've got two ta sabers with me. So, well, Tesla coil, why can't I make them? Or, or it oh, here we go. Like this. Apply and apply and Tesla coil right there for you. And can you, oh, you look at that skill, you managed to get <laughs> stand on end. Nice, right? Right, let's so, see, let's compare stats. I wonder if they're both exactly the same. Mine is, yeah, I didn't even look at them. I should have, I suppose, before I gave you potentially so the better melee one. damage should melee damage should be the same 340 yeah durability 67 163 ah i did keep the better one <laughs> how many and repairs i have five repairs available oh you lucky I dog need it. i have four so i've, I've got better been, yeah I've, better durability but fewer repairs and I think shock, bleed, and weight is exactly the same. So 3, 2, and 1.7 kilos. Yeah, but overall, this weapon is so much better. And it should be faster than our other yeah. weapons. 
So, like, comparing it's, um, it to the Eradicator, it's head and shoulders above the Eradicator. Yeah. So I'm going to unequip oh. mine and equip this one. And it's got, yeah, I'm that not... bleed and shock. A three shock, two bleed. That is a good if, weapon. If that kicks off, that's going to be so much fun. Because you obviously watch them bleed slowly. Yeah. So you can just sit back and um, block for a little bit. And the shock, just basically, it's like watching them get electrocuted, which they kind of are. And the, you just stand there and watch them. You get free hits on them, basically, uninterrupted. The hits, thing is, hits. with our overall base damage, everything pretty much you know, dies before those effects will really have any effect. However, that being said, the they damage. try and run off and heal, they're dead. They're dead before they can get the heal off. Yeah, pretty much, uh, which is always quite fun. All right, what rank are we here with this guy? We're rank four. Rank 5 is the highest, and we get the Bloody Ego Cocktail, which is a new drink. The three, Frio 2.0 and another hat. Yay. Okay. Um, so we get a weapon, a drink, and a hat when we get to level 5 with him. Nice. No skill point, unfortunately. But getting the drink isn't so bad. I don't know if it's, it could be really, really good as a drink. We also got some scrap for doing all that. And it looks like we've got some random items as well. All right, uh, scrap would be a good idea to scrap. Let's go ahead and recycle that. Oh. Well, I am excited Mushroom. to see how this uh, weapon plays out. And now we've got this other armor we can sell to this dude. Well, shall we? Can you scooch over so I can talk to him? No. No, no, no. <laughs> no? What do you mean, no? no? What the hell's with all these journal updates? Are we getting goodies out of this? <laughs> uh, we will eventually, yes. Uh, right, if you step back, I can come out. Nope, too late. <laughs> no, you trapped me in. Okay, so... It's torturous. Renegade suit goes bye-bye. Right? Wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot to sell that to him. Thug armor. Yeah, oh. renegade suit. No, I can't. Can't get to him to sell. Ha! Ha! Oh, I, oh, oh! Yeah, I can. Just stand on his table. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sell all the meat for now because I don't need the food. And let's see, I've got a. I picked up a microscope. I could sell it, but uh, master tools. You might as well weighing me. I'm just thinking, you know, we might need that microscope. Of course, I think that about <laughs> everything, not, there's, every freaking thing. There's not thing. much else to repair. There's not much else to repair now, so you're good. All right, well, I got 10 out of it. Big freaking deal. Hey, it saves you some weights. Yeah, well, I mean, I've got 33,000 scrap right now. I'm feeling like That's, you, I'm rich. I've realized why you do that, you're, why you're so, um, you have so much scrap. It's because... I'm buying all the um, items to finish quests off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you're not. I'm not. I'm not spending mine on anything but repairs, really. So yeah. So never mind. All right, we have a couple of things to do. One is we can complete the dog quest. That is way back down south. We've got to speak to the biologist at some point to complete the beast quest. And then once we've done that, we're he we can start heading up north to Savernia Camp, the new... Well, I mean, we were it, just camp. at the... I don't want to go back to Oasis now and talk to the biologist. That seems like a, a waste of time to keep running back and forth. Let's, can, is there anything well, nearby here or anything that we can do? There's Liberate that place um, which is up there. Savonia camp is up Liberate Zaligorsk? North. Yeah. That's north of us. Alright, why don't we do that? You can go for that. Let's go for that one. Ah, win. Yeah. <laughs> Look out for the gin. Yes. 
<sighs> Pain in the ass. Oh. Ow, mushrooms. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> something. <laughs> I'm just going to walk through them. I don't care. Man, you were... You, it's like anything that could do damage to you, you're stepping on it. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, this is a this is a good drop. Oh yeah. Oh God. What? The? Oh man. Uh. Watch out. Uh, oh man, this is this is nerve wracking, <laughs> dude. I don't like it. Ah. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm fine. Everything's good. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. I win. Oh, things moving around. It's daylight, and I'm all freaked out by stuff. I know. The sun goes down again. <laughs> all right. You know what? I've got all these. Cool oh, I didn't weapons. need another one of those. Never mind. Aha! How are you liking your Sweet. saber? Oh, yeah. Hey, you have. I like it. Have you? I haven't used it yet because I'm not going to get equipped. Dinosaur uh, do you want bones. To see some giant bones. This is cool. I've never seen this. No, I don't know, didn't know what this is. I don't know. Is there a paleontologist around? There's not, unfortunately. Um, oh, bad things are happening. Yeah. Oh. Um, Got another one coming in here. Hey, I got my jump attack to a work. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I have sepsis. Of course I do. Damn it. Well, I've got three antibiotics uh, if you need them. Nah, I'm good. It's all good. Right. Let's get out of this maze. I want to know what that is. I want to know what that dragon is. I know. It's let's, awesome. Let's go hunt down its parents or whatever. Yeah. Maybe find it. Siblings. I bet that's good eating. It probably is. Dragon sandwiches. <laughs> I think we could make a, a whole business out of that. Let's go up. If we need to, we can always jump down. What? I wonder if I can get this dog to kick to fall off. Go. No, oh, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's stuck down there. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Sorry, dog. I'm an ass. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh God, you say that, and I always get butterflies in my stomach. Oh God, no oh, crap. Okay, I'm. Everything's fine. Rook, um, what? I think something bad went down here. Oh, there's a, yeah. And look, you got there's a friend. A grunge. Well, let's get him. Yeah. Ow. You know, backpedaling out of his range doesn't really help. No. What, he healed up? He's got oh, such. Son of a. Crap. Hey, we need to kill him anyway, so it's fine. Um. Old E for healing. Okay, I will. Stop that. What's happening? Are you having fun there? I guess. If if bleeding out is fun. How did you get his goodies? Um, I didn't know if he had any goodies. Oh, he does. I inspect his thick leather, and he had a dried grutch heart as a trophy. Oh. That just sounds completely gross, <laughs> but. I inspected it and got some more knowledge on him. Nice. Also, I found some tanks. Oh, why can't we drive the tanks or loot the tanks? That doesn't seem fair. That would be awesome. Right, here we are. There be a sapsy. <laughs> oh, he's dead. There's me doing all the fancy jumping attacks, and he's dead. <laughs> well, I see a couple of people down there. Uh, I Shall see we? your shadow. I guess I'll follow you. So they'll aggro you first. 
That's fine. That just means you've got to do some work and kill them. Uh oh. How did he see me first? I swear he was still going. Right? <laughs> and it worked oh, out dude. well. He tries to run past you. He <laughs> just smack him. He's like, hey, get my chop liver. <laughs> yeah, they, they obviously don't see me as a threat. Well, I do look fine, pretty I intimidating. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Awesome, not much in there. We've got some um, lockers. Four of them, wow. Alright. I need to drink some stuff here. Eat some raw meat. Yummy. Alright, we need to find the key card, apparently. There's a shop in here. Really? Oh, and I found a safe. Ooh, uh, I think nice. you, I can open them actually. There's uh, a token here as well. I've got it. Yeah, I found a token, which was made more important. Wow, this safe takes a while to Plus, open. Uh, you've got all ammo. the uh, carry again. Are you carrying a shotgun on you? Yes. Okay. Yes, I is. Come over here and uh, let me go ahead and eat that canned whatever. And there's two shotgun shells in the safe. Uh, the combat music started, but no one appeared. No. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, I got. Oh, that's why he's holding a gun at us. <laughs> he's dead. Well, there's he's very another dead. guy over here. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Oh my god, I one shot at him. <laughs> With full armor, the guy just crumbled. Nice. Uh, does he have the key card? No. Uh, well, I looted him. Uh, this, this guy looks like he'll have the key card. He's stuck in some tires. <laughs> He's dead. Alright, he, he got not. a charge. So it's not him. Okay. I found some spider's webs. <laughs> That's really gross. Got like his guts hanging out and stuck to the wall. Ooh, I wanna see. I like gross stuff. Like I watch those videos of um like when they do um cyst removals. And they squeeze all that mm. gross stuff. It's disgusting. Ah. I love it. I can watch ah. that stuff. I can watch that stuff. It's uh, almost cathartic or something to watch. No, that's disgusting. Pimple popping videos. No, no. It's just wrong. <laughs> you are one twisted, disgusting man. I Well, you know. Okay, I'm not going to argue the point. I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, okay, no one there. No one in that building. There's a door here that we haven't gone in. A car that you haven't searched. Awesome! <laughs> yeah, I haven't really been hitting up the cars lately. So. Uh, oh, there's something sparkly over here. A relic! Neato. Not that it really does anything apart from gives us an achievement. And motorcycle. Okay, so. Where's the keycard then? Um, I'm guessing it's not on a person, then it's in a room or something. Oh, there's a water pump over here. It's also showing that there's a shop in here somewhere as well. Aha! Found it. Oh, that was on a dead nice. body. Nice. Uh, I found a car. Yay! Uh, infiltrate the bunker. 
Oh, okay. That's that's out here. What have you been through here already? Probably. Yeah, everything's been looted. Oh, this is where we came in. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah. He's right. dead. Oh, you're. Are you bunkering it already? I'm getting there, but I'm waiting now. Okay. Because the bunker's not even in here, which is always fun. Let's see what bad stuff is in the bunker. Oh! Oh! It's guarded by a monster. A hunter. See it. Oh, he's me now. <laughs> oh, he's nearly down. <laughs> there we go. He is down. You know, it's interesting. It's like, if I draw aggro, I'll just block and turn in a circle until it attacks me, and you can just yeah. wail on it, and then it'll switch its attention to you, and then I just That's wait. pretty to much... To attack, so yeah, it's pretty much how it works. They're not they're okay, not that you know, scary like that. My boar's mule is going up in durability. What the hell? <laughs> That's not right. Pretty I like sure it, it though. 54 out of 60, but at the moment it's I'm pretty sure it's a 54 out of 60, it's now a 56 out of 60. Pretty sure hmm. it's going up, but. Hey, that's fine. As long as it's going up, I don't care. Right, well, I'm stressed out, so I might as well have smoke. Right, I've infiltrated their hole in the ground. Yay, right? Yay. Oh, no, now we've infiltrated it, apparently. And shut down their equipment and emergency power. Well, that doesn't sound too hard. Oh, there's a switch. Um, that's what we're looking for. I interacted with kill it. Kill the commun kill the communications officer. Uh, once you're here, we'll go in. This is going to be a really hard boss fight. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see what he's got. Recycle that. Eat his thighs. And inspect mm, that. Tasty. Tasty, tasty. Well, I really only had antibiotics and uh, an IP of worth, and the rest was just, you know, the standard garbage. <laughs> right, so let's plant the flag, and we got ourselves another safe area. Nice. Did you already loot the rest of the room? Yeah, there's only two things to loot. All right. You know, I gotta say, Zombie, I'm enjoying this game a lot more than I thought I would initially. Like, when I played the it's... tutorial, I, it's like, I had such a hard time with the combat. I'm thinking, man, I'm not gonna be able to play this because I'll be useless. Oh, crap. That was... I'm blind. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd be useless in combat and therefore unable to actually do anything right. It's weird. It's weird because at the beginning, it's very hard. It's yeah. like you, you die so quickly. But then after a while it's once you've actually got some experience and got some like you understand how the combat system works, it's really, really easy. Well so it's to speak. a lot easier in co op for sure because you know yeah, people there is like your enemies change targets based on who attacked them last 
and then the next person just does their turn attacking while you block. So exactly. Oh, so it's always fun. You, are oh, you any game, to be fair, is more fun. Yeah, the quartermaster finishing the actual mission. Uh, points of trust, three thousand out of one hundred. Alright, oh, we've got a trader. I'm going to go ahead and buy this. See, I, I buy stuff. And we'll buy that. <laughs> yeah, and then I can sell off some stuff. Let me go ahead and... guess I don't need all this rot. There's no point carrying that around. Let's sell that. Oh. There we go, getting some more missions complete. Uh, how much more do we need? I really wish you could sort this out by... Um, different... quest types, like... Uh, what you call it? By the quartermaster, or by biologist, or by other stuff. Ah. Uh. But no, it's all under one thing. There's another liberate mission in B2, which is actually. Yeah, it's, no, it's quite far away. It's fine. We'll leave that. Well, I mean, it's night time. Uh, the world is dangerous, so why don't we just sprint across the world to? Uh, well, you know we can we can do that other camp. I'd like to get all the camps liberated. Savannah. Yeah, it's nice to have all the camps on our side. Oh. You know. Did you want to go to Savannah camp, which is the second Oasis camp style place? Sure. Start get that, and then go off to Janowski, which is in the top corner by okay. the airfield. And that sh I think that might even be the last Liberate mission. Where are you? Have you gone out the other side? Yeah, I'm just hanging out, out in the street. Just hanging out with the locals. I mean, I can just start oh, heading towards Severnia. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Severnia. Okay. Yeah, let's head there. And... I don't think there's anything else I need to do at the moment. What? Nope, let's go. Well, I'm hearing weird noises. I don't like it. Yeah, me too. That's why let's go. Before the big scary things come and attack us all. Yeah, like the little puppet girl. <laughs> it's just... Oh look, I found a teddy bear. Oh, nice. And a book. But I can't do anything with either of them. So, this is nice touch. Why there's a teddy bear, we'll never know. That would have been a perfect spot for the little puppet girl. And this it game, I like, you know, there have been other games that have had puppets in them, but this one is the one that has made me really hate puppets. I just don't like them anymore. <laughs> what? What did you do? I just ran through the flames. There's things that are, like, flying around and exploding. On Fireballs! Okay, that makes me a little nervous. Yeah, it would do. Uh, I seem to have led us into a dead end. Nope, we're good. We're so good. And, ooh, what's this place? Dunno. Let's go mark it on the map. Oh. Um, or for a dinner? I have no idea. Yeah, I just, I'm glad you tried to pronounce that, because I wasn't even going to try. Uh, we're underneath that weird radio tower wall oh. thingy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, crap. And that's one of the artifacts that we will eventually get. 
What's this? There's like a ramp right here. Is this a, a bunker? bunker? Oh, it sure does. Is it? Oh, it's closed. Uh, yeah. It's nice probably touch. for a mission. It might nice. be for a mission that only opens when we have the mission. Ah. Uh, like, we couldn't get in without the passcode anyway, so it's like... No. You know, like, no point. Which is... No fun. We should know all the passcodes. Uh -oh. We, like, control this island now. Bad things. Bad things happening. What is it? Why are you over there? Sapsy. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. All by yourself now. You're a grown Come man. Come here. Oh, his legs on all weird. <laughs> the hell? Where'd he go? He's running. Don't let him heal up. I don't know where he ran off to. My alarm was oh. going off to indicate that it's time for a new video, and now He's here he coming comes. back. He's coming back. All right. Is he, though? No, I think he's given up. <laughs> Come here, you. There we go. Yay! All right, Sapsy down. I need these herbs. Let's go. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm going to, I think, continue to record for a little while longer, and, um... Well, we've got a bit of talking now, because we're at the camp. Okay. Well, we'll clear this and camp, right? Is this, uh, we got to do that. Well, this is just, this is just talking. Talk to the scientists. All right. And these guys sell just as much garbage as everywhere else. Fantastic. I know. Uh, I think it's in here. Down here. And around we go. Uh, and... I oh, look, the Quartermaster again. He gets everywhere, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> we got a sponsor box. And we got uh, Dimitri. Another merchant. Ooh, mojito. I'm going to buy a mojito. Oh, and there's a mail tube yeah, here. And a water pump. And a campfire. I did like this place. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. You're looking for... A knowledgeable man. Meaning? Someone who's been in Grinichny for a while and has some understanding of what's happening here. And how am I supposed to help? Lately, I've been studying the anomalous beings. In the course of my studies, I've stumbled on some documents. From the documents, I've established that the anomalies are the result of some kind of tampering with human nature. What does it have to do with... Scientists from Breakthrough managed to transform human subjects into a different kind of essence. Substance. An anomaly. The psyche, traits, and everything that more or less makes up a fully formed human being have been transmuted. Why and to what end? I don't know either. This is technically murder because the human subjects simply die in the process. I found something similar in the local underground facility. Only there was... moss. Yes, I've heard about the converters, but this is something different. If one is to believe these notes, all of these anomalies were once ordinary humans, I can't wrap my head around it. Me neither. I've been looking for someone experienced, someone motivated to get to the bottom of this. How can I help? There's a bunker in Sector D6. I'm sure it's connected to the experiments. That's the place where one of my pupils found the documents about the anomalies. So why don't you ask him? Well, he's dead. Killed by the new lighters on one of his missions. I'm very sorry to hear that. What should I be looking for? Any information or evidence about the experiments. Sounds good. Well, yeah, other than the fact that this guy, while his title may be scientist, I have some questions about his credentials. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I don't think he's much of a scientist, but he could well, be. We'll never know. Yeah, but now we've got a second... Okay, this place... We don't have to repair the benches. Nope. And it's already got our boxes and everything. We've got our personal yep. stash here. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of time putting some stuff away. And then we're going to decide what we're going to do next and pick it up from there, right? Yep. 
So thanks Sounds everyone good. for joining, and we'll talk with all of you again very, very soon. Goodbye.